Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here talking and comparing the Galaxy Grand 2 versus the Galaxy Note 3. So, uh, the new Galaxy Grand 2, which is uh, the, the successor to the uh, first Galaxy Grand that came out last year, uh, let, let's talk about it a little bit here. So, uh, what is the Galaxy Grand all about? Well, it's kind of like a budget Galaxy Note phone. So, if you want to have a big display but you don't have the money, uh, the Galaxy Grand series should be pretty decent. And this new Galaxy Grand 2 here, is especially pretty nice here because it comes with a bunch of cool additions um, compared to the, to the first generation. First it comes with the latest version of Android or Android 1.3, uh, so very very good there, better speed. Uh, another thing is that you get a bigger display from a 3 inch and also better screen technology, not WVGA screen, uh, it kind of is like an LCD display now, so better screen technology. Uh, and then the third thing here is that it's a quad core processor inside, but with 2 GHz quad core, uh, very very cool stuff. So let's compare it a little bit here with the Galaxy Note 3, which is Samsung's high-end note phone at the moment so uh, let's first take a look at some pictures here uh, if you start off with the galaxy grand you can see that uh, it kind of also do get that kind of letter back or fox letter which is like fake letter that the galaxy note 3 has uh, so that's extremely cool that you get kind of like that nice feeling there same as you do get on the flagship devices on this phone uh, you can see it is a duos phone so you probably get be able to put in two sim cards as well inside this uh, of this device uh, of course the galaxy Note 3 has been available now in a, a few more colors now uh, which is definitely pretty cool we made a video about that yesterday talking talking about it so you can definitely check out that video uh, if, if you uh, want to have more details about that uh, but let's compare the specs a little bit here because obviously i don't know the price right now but the galaxy grand 2 and my guess is this is going to be around the S4 mini price, maybe a little bit higher, or probably a little bit higher there, uh, because it's a quad core, a low, low quad core, 2 GHz, but still sounds pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not sure about the, the GPU inside of it, but it looks pretty great. Uh, first of all, the Galaxy 3 is better because it's 4G. Um, I mean, that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, now, SIM card here, dual SIM, uh, which is awesome. On the Galaxy Run, you don't get that on the Note 3, maybe on some variants. Uh, but um, it's pretty awesome. Almost the same kind of weight on these devices, uh, 5 grams more almost here on the Galaxy Note 3. Of course you do get the S Pen on the Galaxy Note 3 and you do get a little bit of bigger display. Uh, the Galaxy Note 3 is a little bit thinner here, 83 millimeters in thickness versus 8.9 here uh, on the Galaxy Grand 2. Uh, big display difference here, Super AMOLED is something's best display on the Note 3 with 1080p resolution, a 5 to 7 inch display and also very very high pixel density, 386 pixels. Very good still here on the Galaxy Grand 2. I mean the um, the the Galaxy the Galaxy Note 3 is a little bit over here almost. Uh, 5 and 3 inch display here, 280 PPI which is amazing, and a 720p display uh, which is also amazing. Uh, of course here with the display type, it's better than the last generation Galaxy Grand, but it's still very very good here. Uh, this TFT like LCD display is still very good and the resolution is pretty awesome. And the uh, micro SD card slot on both here, 64 gigabytes. Here comes one of the bad things so with the Galaxy Rand, only an 8 gigabyte variant it seems. Uh, versus the Galaxy Note 3, 16, 32 and 64 gigabytes of internal. But if you take a lot of pictures, you, you don't have to worry about that really because you can just insert another SD card. But if you are like many people that like to play games and stuff, then this is going to kind of suck. I mean, it's going to kind of suck. Uh, one and a half gigabytes of RAM, so pretty good amount of RAM in, inside of this uh, bad boy Grand 2 as well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, 8 megapixel camera on the Galaxy Grand versus 30 megapixel. I think it's the same shooter as you got on the first Grand, so uh, you should be able to take some decent pictures. Um, but um, uh, same here, Android version 4.3 Jelly Bean. I definitely do believe that you'll be more secure uh, with uh, the Galaxy Note 3 in terms of updates uh, with uh, Android versions like 4.4 and stuff. But probably, hopefully, the the Grand 2 also. It's good to get that. Of course, you do have a few variants uh, of the Galaxy Note 3 out, uh, but the main here with the Galaxy Grand is it's a quad core of 2 gigahertz. Can't wait to see. I would love to pick up this device and see how it performs if people are interested, uh, because it really sounds like an interesting device. 
And then of course, black, white, and pink colors here. Black and white probably is gonna be very, very easy to get access to. While the Galaxy Note 3 just got unveiled in rose gold black, rose gold white, and merlot red colors. I made a video about that yesterday, uh, which was pretty fun. Uh, of course here with the GPU, the gaming processor inside of the, or in the gaming, uh, the graphic, uh, graphical right, processing unit or something. Uh, Adrian 330, amazing here on the Note 3. I'm not sure what is in the, uh, uh, the Galaxy Ram 2, so uh, I'm a little bit curious about that. Hopefully it's better than the first generation Galaxy Ram. And then uh, here with battery, uh, you, you do get uh, more here with, with the bigger display and probably takes, uh, probably drains a little bit more uh, the, the Galaxy Note 3 display. 3200 mAh, which is 2600 mAh battery inside of the Ram 2. Uh, so the Ram 2 is getting kind of like the same amount of milliamps as I think the S4, uh, which is still a very, very good amount and bumping up 500 milliamp from the first generation Galaxy Ram, which definitely is amazing. So I can't wait to see the price of this device. It sounds really like an interesting device that uh, I want to see. I want to see what it's all about. And I want to see how it performs and all that kind of good stuff. So do you think that's an interesting device? I definitely do believe so. And if you want me to pick it up or check it out or something, uh, then please let me know about that and I'll definitely see what I can do when it's gonna come out. And it should come out later this year, uh, probably gonna be in like January in most areas, but uh, we just have to keep our eyes uh, up. Yeah, peace out.